Now, how does he manage to arrange for this machine? And I guess you do have to do that. Oh, yes. You send the piano score. Of course, he has a little layout table. He puts a paper down lengthwise of the table and marks the notes right off the piano score. And then when he gets them marked on the paper, he has a foot press with an oblong punch that is foot operated, and he runs it through and cuts each hole individually. It's quite a laborious uh, process. Well, I guess it must be. And as a matter of fact, you travel with these units, with these machines, to uh, several fairs a year, don't you? In, in addition, of course, to your gay 90s village in uh, Saxton, Missouri. We try to make about two fairs a year. If I was a lot younger, I'd make a half a dozen, but this works you to death about 14 hours a day. How many people travel with you? We have, well, six of us all together. Now, are they related? Well, I have a cousin. Uh, that he and his wife travel with us. He just retired from electrical business in Portland, Oregon. His name is Virgil Akins, and I had Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Turkin out of Michigan City, Indiana, who sold an amusement park and retired about three years ago. So they're all living easy but me. I'm working uh, like seven days a week. <laughs> but you love it, I know, Paul. Oh, yes. Tell yes. you what we're going to do. I want you to load the machine, and we're going to listen to another song, and then we're going to see other parts of your collection. We'll see all of the, uh, the instruments for uh, telling your fortune and telling the future and so on. But let's go over here and uh, Would you load like her up. Uh, 